good thinking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking whether I should ask you something more. Um, how do we kind of, um, how do we kind of get a control over our feelings? Like you know, um, how do we, how do I make myself love everybody? At the minute, there are some people, there are some, there are some human beings whom, I don't know, I just can't stand. I don't know if it's the right word, but you know. <laughs> but you know, I just don't want to be like that. But it just kind of yeah. stays in the mind. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Suppose it's control over the mind. Don't try to have. love everybody. <laughs> don't try to love everybody. Maybe try to, at least you can try some. Just try to be fair, but don't try to love everyone. Oh, well. Love in the sense. No, uh, I don't mean you know yeah. you know affectionately, mm. but you know sometimes. Uh, because there will always be one or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfectly normal then? <laughs> it, of course, it's very normal. <laughs> so I'm not abnormal. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to… There's a love which is not… Uh, it is so all-inclusive and it's so free that they say Jesus loved everyone. No? But when he went to the, to the temple and saw these people you know, selling… Uh, yeah? In that moment, he was not on a love mission. <laughs> <laughs> he was. <laughs> is it? Be yourself. This is the way, and uh, and stay in this place that you've been shown this effortlessness, and leave the rest. The, le- the rest will somehow align itself appropriately. Really, what I'm saying, I'm telling you, it's so unburdening. We are trying to cultivate good habits. Ramana Maharshi said something very beautiful. He says, all good habits manifest spontaneously in the delivered mind. Meaning that when you see where you really are, automatically things come right. You don't have to try to be like this or try to be like this. You see? Because I don't feel that if there is a you loving everyone, I don't think you will be successful. You'll do ninety-nine, but your neighbor, uh, you want her, uh, <laughs> and you feel, oh no, no, I didn't do it, I failed, and so on. So don't do it. You're the Stay. first person to have said that. Yes, yes, it's all right. It's all right to not like some people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's all right to feel uh, even the feeling of hatred can happen. It can happen, but you're not tied yourself to it. It's something that also arises if you see really gross injustice or cruelty. How can you say, I love you? How can you say this? Yeah. You don't feel. You want to yourself give a good chop, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely. It's natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in the meantime, please leave that alone. Stay as that which is aware. Just keep staying. Stay as awareness always. Don't go to, what should I do, what should I undo? Stay as the awareness. And immediately, in this space of just being awareness itself, everything begins to slow down a bit and your perspective becomes more clear, your discernment is much more sharp, and there is more space in you, more peace, you see more clearly, and spontaneously also, you are not in a space of making decisions, but more that you recognise, it is up and so, yours, all the balance, everything is already in you, the potential. If you don't go through the medium of the mind to try and work things, stay only in this place of that neutrality in you. This is not being blank. It's not being blank, because even if there is blank, there is the awareness of blank. Stay as the awareness itself. Everything is showing up in this space, and immediately you feel the expansiveness in you. <clears throat> and a decision that you would have made five minutes ago completely thins out, <clears throat> and now there's space. Five minutes ago you felt like oh, I can't spare even two minutes to look, and now there's infinite expanse. This is how changeful the conditions of the, the environment of the emotions and the mind can, can it turns on a penny. It's just like this. Don't get caught up in that. Stay as the awareness itself. There's always space. There's this huge expanse. Stay there. And when your attention has united with that space, somehow that recognition has a way of blessing every other aspect of your expression is touched by it automatically. This is the easy way. But if you want to cultivate good habits and do ten steps towards, then this is a different thing. And that's also a way. 
That is the, the snail's way. <laughs> Don't want that. Uh, uh, I will show you samurai way. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Some people like the journey of uh, go and uh, yes, check it out and uh, enjoy. This is fine because it's the same consciousness is playing its role. But some, there is no more time for dilly dallying. They don't want to look around. They just want to go to get to that point. What is it to go to the residue? Residue, if there is one. True. You can take one year to be happy, or you can be happy now. What will you choose? No. <coughs> You're happy now. If you go to your mind to try and work at happiness, then you become very miserable. Trying to be happy is the most miserable thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> On the contrary, if you're feeling miserable and you say, "Listen, I'm not miserable enough. I'm only eighty percent. I want to turn up that. Where's that twenty percent?" And go very miserable. Then you start laughing, <laughs> and you find automatically, "But this is so ridiculous." But if you try to be happy, you know, try to be happy is like trying to act naturally. Uh, uh. You can't do it. <laughs> Stop trying and recognize this thing. <laughs> Look at this smile, my gosh. <laughs> huh? Now she wants to hide it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs>